Oh my god, it's snowing. <laughs> Hi guys. About two years ago, I made a video on YouTube and it was all about film photography. I still get comments on that video. People just expressing their opinions about how they feel about film photography, how they feel about digital photography, which one is better, which one is worse, and everyone has an opinion about this. Photography is that subject that's a very sensitive one, especially if you're passionate about it. So it's normal that everyone will have their own opinion. Now, the reason behind um, me creating that film was that I was working, and I'm still working, in a place where you can take your film, develop it, print your digital photos and all that. And I noticed that recently more and more young people were coming in with um, films to be developed. Not only students were bringing in film, but also just, just regular, regular people that were not necessarily ignoring the digital era, but just immersing themselves in this photography process. What I noticed is that every single time when they came in to collect their photo, there was an excitement in their eyes and they were really, really happy and really curious about, you know, what the film looked like and turned out to be. In some of the comments um, on the video, some people are mentioning about the fact that film photography can be expensive and Yes, it can be expensive depending what type of film you use, depending what camera you use, depending how big you want your pictures printed. So compared to digital photography, yes, it can be more expensive because you have to invest in buying film and you have to invest in developing your film and printing your film. Now, if you don't have a place where you can take your film and you want to take it to the next step, to, to the next level, you can develop the film on your own. And then that will involve some cost in terms of the solutions that you need for developing in the dark room. So um, that might take not only a lot more money than digital photography would, but it will also take a lot of time. If we compare it to digital photography, in a way, digital can also be expensive. I mean, you need batteries, you need tripods, you need all these fancy things, you need a, like a new lens, you, you will always keep buying stuff for your camera. In the long run, yes, digital can be a little bit cheaper because you buy a camera, you, you buy a couple of lenses and then you're done. Then you have memory cards, you throw them on your computer and, and that's it. If you want to print them, that's fine. If not, they will just live on your, on your computer forever. I believe that both digital photography and film photography involves some sort of cost, some sort of price. So we can't really say that, you know, film is more expensive or digital is more expensive. It's basically up to the user if they want to make digital photography a very expensive one or not. And it's uh, the same thing up to the, the user of a film camera if they want to make their, their photography a lot more expensive or not. The other, the other question that was uh, raised up in the comments was about which one is better. Well, there is no such thing. If you're passionate about photography, then you would use whatever means of photography you want to basically get the result. With film, it can be a little bit more challenging, main, mainly because if you want to do it properly, you will probably want to go with an actual manual film camera with interchangeable lenses and all that. Um, so I have here my um, OM-1 Olympus camera. So this one is basically fully manual. You need to set up your own settings, you need to set up your aperture, you need to set up your shutter speed and all that. So with a camera like this, you do need to have a little bit of knowledge. But saying that, there are still disposable cameras that a lot of people still use and still like using, especially at parties or when they go traveling and stuff like that, which are very easy to use. They are all fully automatic, they have built-in flashes and all that, so with film it depends which way you want to go for. If you use a disposable camera that can be very handy in a, a ton of situations. If you want to use something like this, then for something like this you need to have a little bit of knowledge about what the hell are you actually doing. With digital, pretty much every camera probably have automatic settings that are very easy to understand, are very easy to use. Most of cameras have nowadays like an automatic mode that you just stuck your camera on and you don't worry about any of the settings and stuff like that. So digital, in a way, it's a little bit more accessible. I mean, we all have cameras on our phones. Everyone uses their, their phone camera to take pictures. But when we're talking about photography as an art, then obviously that's where the differences start appearing, um, in my opinion, because when you're using digital, you can create something really 
amazing with a camera because we have all this technology built into this like tiny little cameras and you can do so many amazing things and even if you don't know a lot about how to do it but you want to achieve a certain look then the di digital camera would probably help you a little bit more in achieving that look when talking about film cameras we can also do some amazing things not only by setting the camera in a specific way but also in the way that we are developing the, the film if you don't develop your own film, probably you won't have access to that, to that creative side. If you're not doing the developing on your own, a little bit of that creative process, I feel it's being taken away from you. Doesn't mean that if you're not using film camera, you're not passionate about photography or you're not a real photographer or you don't know exactly how to use a camera. The world of photography is just giving us a lot more options to choose from. Film does take in my opinion, and then again, this is this is my personal view, does take a little bit more understanding about how you're using the camera. While digital, and I know someone mentioned in the comments, can make you sometimes feel a little bit lazy because everything is already there, it's already for you, so you just click and then you have the image. Of course, if you don't have the eye, if you don't have the creativity needed to actually compose a really good image, then it doesn't matter, you can have the most expensive camera on earth. If you don't know what to photograph or how to photograph or from, from what angle to photograph something, then it's just going to be an average image. People in, in the comments mentioned that they choose film because it kind of pushes you to actually have a hard copy of your work. Now, I don't know how many of you guys that are, are using digital cameras are actually printing your photos. There is such a difference from just seeing a picture online or on your camera or on, the, on your phone from actually seeing a printed copy of your image. There is just something about it that makes it so much better. Even if you take a picture that doesn't necessarily look that great or is not like the best image in the world, as soon as you print it out there's something about it that kind of makes you smile about it, it makes you happy. So in a way I like that film photography is basically pushing you to actually print your work, to actually have a look at it, like stare at it and decide if you like it, if you don't like it, if you should do that again or not. While digital we take, I don't know, at least I have probably one terabyte of just digital photos. Do I print all of them? No. Do I look at them often? Not really. And that's what digital photography is taking away from us. It's taking away the actual process of just seeing your work, your hard copy, and then thinking about the things you did wrong or the things you did right and what should you do next. Now I know this is a little bit of a, of a random video, just me talking to the camera in my room looking out the window and seeing snow finally coming to UK um, but what I wanted to make clear is that I don't say and I, I didn't want to mention with my video in, in any way shape or form that you know film photography is better than digital photography or that digital you know is the way that everyone should go nowadays I just wanted to, to show people like this other side of photography that you know, some people are taking interest in and I just wanted the world to know that, you know, film photography is still there, it's, it's not dead, even though a lot of companies are, are stopping making their films and film is getting harder and harder to find, but no matter how you decide to, to pursue your hobby for photography, either digital or with a film camera, you know, photography is still a magical hobby. Um, is still a creative way of expressing yourself and sharing your passion with everyone else and sharing basically the world that you live in with everyone else. Photography is a way of expressing yourself and no matter how you do it, no matter if you use the camera in, in manual, no matter if you use the camera in automatic, is a way of, of sharing a little bit of your world and a little bit of the things that you're seeing with everyone else. Photography is not only about technique, it's not about what camera you use, it's not about who has the most expensive camera or who has the better film in the camera or who's doing their own developing, but it's about sharing your world with the others, it's about showing the world how you see things through your, your camera. And what I would love to do, because a lot of people 
that left comments to, to my previous videos were obviously people that were passionate about photography, people that were, were using photography as a way to express themselves. I'm really curious to, to see your work and I would love if you guys can, can post a link um, in the comment section either with your Instagram account or I don't know, Facebook account, website, whatever you guys have because people that commented were people from all across the world and I'm curious to see how the world looks through your eyes. Till next time!